Assalamu alaikum. You want me to be seated? Well, this is a great day. It's been a great day. It's going to be a better day today. For those of you that did show up, thank you. And I'm quite sure if you take this the way you should, you'll be thanking me. It, we have reached a, a time in our development where everyone that is with me, you're going to experience a severe trial. And it may begin today after you hear what I have to say. And those of you that are here for your first time, we usually open up the floor for you to ask me questions so you can get a better understanding of what you already know. Because if you don't understand what you know, you don't have no base to gain any other. Click. Yes. You know, since the beginning of time, I have been experiencing disappointment. And since I have, you have too. The big thing about today is that we're putting an end to that reality. No more disappointments. I hope you listen. This is, I think, about the smallest or the tiniest temple that we have. However, today, this is a worldwide message being sent from here. Or I'm delivering it here. Everybody here? Yes, sir. I want you to keep up with me. After a period of being created, now, I'm speaking God language and God knowledge, not no prophets or no scientists. So I'm starting from the beginning so we have a clear understanding. From the beginning of creation, after we found out this period of happiness that we went through because of what we had created, and in the Bible, it reads, it took him seven days to create it, and he checked his handiwork, and he was pleased with it. That's another way of saying, after creating himself, he made a companion, or he made a man to be his companion. And if you make something to be in accord with you, it usually have to be in sync with you, in such a way where you're pleased with it. However, it has always been the very one that you are extremely pleased with that's tried the most. And if they are not clear about what they're receiving from you or the person that is showing them their love, if they're not clear and take it on the base that this is personal, then the one that you're showing the love to always lets you down. They always disappoint you. Example. If you have a child that seems to be very obedient and you share with the child everything that the child needs and add to it just to show your particular part and how much you love this particular child. Satan in return in return comes against this particular child that you're showing this affection to. And he will cause the child to start looking against you if you miss one thing that you have, that you are not giving or that you did not give from the child's expectation of you. Because they had been receiving all along, they take it as though this is a general thing. This is what's supposed to be. This is expected. So when it is not received, then Satan opens his mouth and starts talking to you. 
And because there is a love from you to this particular person or child, it never crosses your mind that they're being set up to cross you. And when you usually find out, it's too late. The double cross has already taken place. Or the non-acceptance of you has already taken place. Now you have a an experience that's unpleasant. However, life goes on. If you're going to be a part of the light, then you pick up the step that life is di dictating that you must take and take it. If you pause or hesitate, the clock is not going to pause, not one second, because you paused. Hope you keep up with it. Yes, sir. This has been happening all the way up until now. Generally, for the black man in general, He's always disappointed because the God of this world that you're living in, that you're not supposed to be a part of, his daily activity is disappointment for you. So you should be able to relate in what I'm sharing with you. And if it did not or does not happen on the divine level, it's impossible for it to happen on the physical. You keeping up? Yes, sir. Moses had an Aaron. Double crossed it. Jesus had Peter and Paul. Double crossed it. Elijah had a whole heap of them. The double crossed it. Namely, one is Malcolm. So much so that the messenger said, he would never teach nobody like he taught Malcolm. Because he was hurt. Because of what Malcolm did. I'm showing you right on down the line how this is going. The final disappointment in the absence of the messenger, however, not in the absence of the message that he delivered that must be and still is alive, you have got to respect that because of the truth of it. So even in the messenger's passing, there's still disappointment. Minister Lewis reached all the way up into the spiritual. The physical is gone, removed. However, the spiritual that everybody has an opportunity to think on is still here. It's in literature. It's on tapes. And the system that was set up for us to become successful in being independent or being a man again has been disrespected. So therefore, those ones that accepted what the messenger taught and in the spirit in which he taught it and the truth of it are offended. You follow me? Yes, sir. So we started off with creation and we are coming brought right up to the present day and it hasn't changed. However, I being the new am, has been, and am putting in a system to bring that to an end. However, until I have completed it, I cannot escape the same thing. You listening? Yes, sir. One may say, well, hold it just a moment. Can this be redirected? I'm one from the sun. Otherwise, it's blowing right on the back of my head. One may say, well, you're a law or you're a God. You can do what you want. That's true. However, I don't do what I want according to the way you think I do it. You think, well, you know, like you'd be watching Bewitch and you're twinkling in the nose and everything's changed. It don't happen that way. With me, it is be and is. If it's going to be a little too warm in here, if you could direct it up instead of down. 
they, they could be turned back on. So the way I do things, I see it for what it is, if I allow it to be. I see it for what it is, and then I start to change it in a way where the person, if the person is involved or people are involved, they have an opportunity to change their way to fit with what must be. If I did it the way you think God to do it instantly, it would be no possibility for no correction in your action. Does that make sense? Yes. Hope this isn't too distracting. I have taught from myself a few of my own biological children. And the one that picked up the teachings first and with an understanding is the one that we know as mother. And she has been the one that has been actually expressing it in a manner in which you know she knows. Is that true? Yes, yes sir. Or at least it gives that appearance. Since it is now time for you all to actually sever the mother's relationship in the way of getting everything from her, now you got to get it from the father. Because everything that made her shine and look powerful and indefensible came from her father, which is your father. However, she has always known me as father, father. This is why when you heard her speak, she said, well, my father, not the father. My father, thus and so, and my father, and I love my father. So it gave her somewhat of a head start. She's the older of you all. And the Bible I don't think it starts to say anything about father until you get into the New Testament before it mentions the father. Because this is the only one that is has the right to be called father. Because there's nothing wrong in it. This is the one that the only one that can take you further. You haven't seen no other God or no other scientist that has been able to make you go any further or take you any further that, than what already exists. The messenger came with the message. We raised him up. He didn't come. We raised him up, gave him a message. And at the time we started giving him the message, he was a drunk. He was an alcoholic. We gave him the message. And he delivered it to you. Look where you are. Matter of fact, it looks as though we've gone backwards. So you haven't got no knowledge that will take you farther. What the message did was prep you to get you ready to go farther. Right? In the book it reads that the messenger was raised up to make a way for me. To make a way. If the way wasn't made, the only thing I could do was destroy you. That's the only thing I could do. Since I am live, living, flesh, blood, bone, human, there had to be somebody to attest to me humanly. So I had from my own loins to prepare someone that would actually do that. We knew her as mother. I have other children. However, as of yet, none stands out like mother. Is that true? Yes, sir. Well, for everything that you all have been doing up until this point, and I'm not just talking to you all, this is a tape that's mandatory for everyone that's with me to hear. 
Everybody's got to hear this tape. I don't care if you're living in London, and we got some people in London, England, they're going to get the tape. And they don't know mother. They may have heard some tapes, but they don't know her. You all do. To show the severity and the intensity of Satan to be victorious and making sure that I nor you are able to destroy him. He takes that one that the love is put on and works with them constantly, constantly, to see if he can find the breaking point or the crack. It don't have to be no big crack, just the crack. Are you following me? Yes, sir. If you all have ever noticed wherever mother were to go or whatever she was to do, if it was someone doing it for her, they never did it right. Even if it was to open the door, something would go wrong. And it was not the intentions of the person that's doing the serving. If you go to a restaurant, everybody get their order, comes out right. Hers, wrong. Constantly, constantly, persistently. Because it is a known, proven reality that if you can break the father and mother up as a family, then the family would never be a family. You always be by yourself. You would always be looking for the stability that you never experienced. And since you never experienced it, you can't recognize it when you see it. If you do, you can't participate in it because it's somebody else's family. You know, like white folks, they have the perfect family. All of them is wrong. So it's perfect. So you try to fit in that family, it don't work. The family that is right hasn't come alive yet, unless it's my family. And then when you see this, you get an opportunity to see it after Satan has done all he possibly could and he still got the pressure on. Then most of us in our everyday thinking from this world, the first thing that comes to your mind, judgment. You start to judge. It's not an unnatural thing. If it's being placed on yourself or someone that you have power and control over. Anyone that is over you in power and control or status, you are unable to judge them. You know why? Because you never know the spear of the circle that they're operating in. You might know the circle, but you never know what it takes, what it entails that's above your participation. So the things that you are unaware of is the things that is dictating to the person that you're judging. And you always come up short. You follow me? This is something that's happening every day. It don't have to be spiritual. It just happens every day. Your child come up and tell you, well, Dad, you ain't right. But why you say that, son? I mean, I wouldn't talk to mom like that. But he ain't see what mom did to him. You know, he, he goes and tries to tell him, no, I, I don't care, you know, because mom wouldn't do that. But he didn't see it. So he's judging his dad on something that he didn't see. He thought he saw everything. He thought. Follow me? All right, now, what's taking place today is going to determine who's with me and who's not with me. Mother has been, because of her own choice, and how that could ever be a choice, however I'm saying it this way, her own choice decided to be a lost found. Lost found means our people that was lost 
And then I came and found you. After finding you, started to share with you everything that you need for you to become independent and not lost. You can prove that you are found. In other words, I found the family of God when I came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. I found him. But look at them. They're still lost. It's only a few that accepted being found and did the proper thing so that they could bear witness that they are found. They got a connection back to their father. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Now, because of this, this is an extreme difficulty or a test or a trial for every child that was produced from the idea that she helped you express, which she was in her rightful place by doing so. Because it's always first to the child is the mother. The mother knows the father because he's the one who made her a mother. You keeping up with me? Yes, However, the love that is developed between the two, mother and child, is inseparable unless something is done so severe against the truth of what the child has grown into by experience that it makes the child pause and say, hold it. I've gone down many roads with you, but this one here, I have now learned that I cannot go against the creator, the one that made you. I can't do that. I'm not even going to have no sympathy for you. I will ask the supreme being for understanding. And that's all I can do. I will remember the good things and the right things that you shared with me. But this particular path and road you're going on, I got to home. I must respectfully decline to go not another step in that direction. Are you listening? Yes, sir. This is what you're saying. Because the knowledge that you've gained from the mother and the father backing it up has caused you now to be strong enough to make an intelligent decision. Since I don't have no followers. This is the beauty about God when he comes or the father. He makes it possible for you to go farther. Not follow him. If you are following the mother and she steps off, even if you're guiding her and telling her, look, it's a drop off there. Don't step there. Well, I know what you know not. I'm, I'm my own woman. What you gonna do? Tackle her and both of you fall over? Or step back and say, well, I've done my duty. It may bring tears. But I'm not to make you do nothing. I'm only to lay it out for you to have a choice as to what you will do. And if you chose the wrong path, you will pay for that. And whatever discomfort that I experience from it at the moment, it will pass. Because the sun shines brighter the next day. Because here is something that has been extracted from you. Meaning that you won't have to worry about this anymore. You don't have to put forth no more energy in trying to save it. You know, like you go to the gambling hall, you may go with two or three thousand dollars. And when you first start, you got a lot of intensity into it, you want to win it, you got enough, maybe if you lose, you still, when you get down to that last dollar. You can't walk away. You got to try it in here. Well, it, you know, I, I got to try this. And if you try it and you lose, you don't have nothing now. You can't cry about it. You just say, damn it, it's gone. That means I got to go. I can't even stay here and play no more. Are you following me? Yes, sir. So those of you that are hearing this tape, every member, every person, whether you be white, Brown, red, yellow, or original. If you are with me, 
You were commissioned by me, instructed by me, expected by me, that you immediately understand. If not, you're going to lose. You're going to lose in various degrees. And the slightest loss will be a loss of time. Meaning that the least that you can do in losing, because you paused and I didn't. You know how to be walking, you following somebody or you with them, you stop to tie your shoes. But they don't stop. Now to get back up with them, you got to run. And if you waited too long, broke your shoestrings, trying to retie it back up and everything, you might not catch them. But they never picked up the space. They just kept walking. That's the least that will happen to one that want to pause with this. You want to take your time to understand. Remember, while you're taking your time, the clock does not slow up on the tick. It maintains the rhythm. Isn't that wonderful? Because the greater thing that's coming to you is coming to you at a set time. And if the clock would stop and pause, it would delay it. It would delay your wealth, your happiness, your greater expectation. So it always comes back to the person, what you're going to do. Because what must be done is already set and is in motion. How are you going to relate to that motion? You're going to pause and look at it and say, well, it's wrong. When in fact, you can't find nothing in the universe that's more exact. And when you see a person that's in this, and they do something that's asinine, totally anti-math, are you going to stop and say, well, it can't be right because they paused. If you are following them, fine. That's what you say. That's what you do. So they fall, you fall. And if that happens, you cannot say you were ever with me. Ever, 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 never. Allah is independent. Whoever leaves, if they intend to live, they got to return. No if, ands, and buts. No running after them. No praying and hoping. No wishing. No willing. Keep ticking. And they always run to the end of their reign. And when and coming to the end of a thing is good. I mean, you got to make a decision then. You have got to. Is this being made clear? Well, in order for this to be no more, to remove any elements or possibility of disappointment, guess, think, or mathematically calculate whose house has to be right first. Would it be mine? Yes, sir. I think so. Yes, so whatever I allow in the house, if I allow it as though it is law and should be there, that's what you do. That sets a law. So I will be working in vain because Satan would always be with you because I allowed it in my house. Now, since I'm not allowing it, I'm exposing it and then destroying it. That means you don't have no reason to have him in your house in any degree. Now, when you go to apply this cleansing of your home, you may find that you don't have but two people with you. I mean, you got, you know, father, mother, uncle, sister, brother, cousin, house just full. Then a couple other cities, you got some more houses that's filled. That's directly tied to you. And when you go to cleanse this, if the person 
isn't serious and have the basic understanding as to what is being done and why, it's a great possibility you lose them. And when you look up, out of a hundred people, you might have ten. However, it's their choice. You know how we got tribes? You know, we, it's known that we have 13 tribes. I think everybody knows that, right? 13 tribes. And if one tribe is missing, you can't ignore that one that's missing. Say if tribe 8 is missing. You can't say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because 8 is missing. You would have to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. You got to acknowledge it's 8 that's missing. You got that? The reason why? Because each tribe has a special ability from the Creator, which is myself to express a certain or certain attributes that make life interesting. So a lot of times when the from 1 until 11 comes to visit 13, that's what they're doing, visiting. They got to go. Twelve and thirteen can live together. Twelve is like the sheriff. What you're doing and the protection that's needed, you're intertwined. So you can live, they don't have to leave. They don't have to. Since they're dealing with the law, their dealings in the law and the way it's done automatically allows them to stay right with you. Everyone from there back to one lessens in the degree of practicing the law that would justify them being with the 13th tribe. Are you listening? Yes, sir. So a lot of times when people come with me, they say, yes, sir, Father, I'm really with you. And they jump up and down. They send me money. Not very much. They'll send five dollars and put it in my name, Royal. They don't put in the United Nations of Islam, and I, I always say put the United Nations of Islam. They are sending in money, they make it very personal. Ten dollars, five dollars. Sometimes they may send a hundred dollars. Not often. However, it happens. I look at the person that's sending it, because they usually send a letter. Sometimes they even send a tape with it. And they're expressing how much they deeply love me. How much they recognize if I did not exist, they would not have new existence. I mean, they just get right into the fiber of it. That person I know is either from tribe number one, or number two, up to number seven. If I brought them close to me and they had an opportunity to watch how I really work, two days they'd be gone. Are you following me? So, the lesson state that you trust no one except Allah and the messenger. It does not read, it does not indicate, it does not dictate that you trust Allah, the messenger, and his wife. It don't read that you're supposed to trust Allah and Allah's wife. Don't read that. Only Allah and the Messenger. Now, in the absence of the person that decided to leave, in this case, mother, then the next parent has to step in and be both. Hope you listen. Yes, sir. Hope you listen. Yes, sir. When I first started being myself, and I went to the king, and I recognized, oh, here's the one I've been looking for. He was married and had a wife. And I looked, I said, boy, that's, that, that, that's a messed up situation there. I told her, I said, well, I got to have him. 
So she helped to make it possible. And then because I went to stay with them to get things, if they were going to stay together to make sure that they were together based on truth. And like I said, it was a messed up situation there. She wanted nothing to do with truth. So naturally, truth and falsehood cannot <coughs> exist at the same time, at the same space. So one had to leave. In the absence of her leaving, I performed mother and brother and husband and father. I did everything. When I say I did everything, I cooked the food. I'm at the king's house. He was working every day. I washed the car. I washed his clothes. I ironed them. He never had to want for nothing. He could not never come and say, well, where is my... Never could. Whatever was needed, it was there. However, he never did it. So in order for him to be trusted like me, he got to do what I've done. So he will experience what it takes to be trusted. I hope you listen. Some dummy might say, well, if he is a messenger and he is returned back as a messenger, he already know that. He's already been through that. Our people is like the dumbest people on the planet. You know, it's a shame to say. However, on the other hand, you got the most intelligent person in the universe with you. If you want to be intelligent. And getting back to what I'm saying, now, they have to do what I've done. Be the mother, be the father, and be their king. And when that has completed its course, I want you to think now. When that has completed its course, then the next step is what? To make sure he gets you. And you. And you. And every person that came with him as the messenger to take you to the city that's been prepared. Are you listening? Yes, sir. The prophets already predicted that they saw 144,000 going to heaven with their Lord, not behind him, not before him, not above him, not under him, not around him. They went with him. Does it read that? Yes, Brother Minister, where's Brother Minister? Oh, yes, sir. I'm quite sure it reads that. However, he's to get an experience this time with his own family and in such a manner that it confirms him to be the king so he would be able to properly be the king of the substance or the uh, servants uh, the ones that are with him his subjects I hope you listen yes, this is being explained from divine not from the way you think. Not from the way you think. And if you've got some other kind of thought about it, let me see you put it into motion and bring something positive from it. Let me see you do that. Better still, let somebody else see you do it. I don't have to see because I already know. Just to show you, you're not going to do nothing other than the way that I'm saying it is to be done. It ain't going to work. If it would, it would have happened. It hasn't happened. So what I'm expressing to you and explaining to you, all along, some of you all may have heard, if not, it's on the tapes. Sometimes you hear me ask, Mother, when you plan on leaving? You never heard that? 
Oh, Father, I, what you mean? I'll never. Oh, Father, please. Okay. So you can't say, I didn't know. It slipped up on me. It's an unpleasant experience. However, pleasantry has nothing to do with this. It don't have nothing to do with it. It's like Tina said, what love got to do with it? Nothing. It can be experienced after the real thing that has to do with it. You follow me? So from this point on, until I, Allah, the father, biological father of my daughter, which you all call mother, which I made her mother, turn back to that which will work. You are not, shall I repeat, because this may sound negative, so I'm going to say it slow and clear. No one that is with me, with me, is to aid, help, give comfort to, share any sympathy, anything that will cause them to pause in remaining where they are. They are not to be comfortable where they are because of your help. Yes, sir. If you so believe that you have the power to do so, after you hear this tape, and those of you here that are looking at me saying this, and you decide out of your own love that you brought back up in your mind because you heard her voice or you saw her in distress and it pains you not to move and you give aid, I shall give you the same thing what she's received. This has to be this way. If not, you're going to delay the return. And while the king is becoming kingly, he has to do it by himself. Not with me and not with her. Are you following me? So now, all of the protection that I have been giving her up until now, for her to really know what it really is about, she's about to find out now. And as far as the king is concerned, as far as him having the right without any hindrance at all from me or the mother, he does not have no excuse for him not to develop to the point where he can come and get you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Should it be repeated? This is the Lord of the worlds and the law of the universes speaking now to you. And it's one thing you will not find me doing is lying. Simply because I don't have to. You got that? Yes, sir. You might would ask yourself, those that really know, how is this possible? If it was not ordained by me and the scientists, she could not, could not, could not do that. That's so impossible, it'll be the same as at 12 midnight. Suddenly, the sun appears, dispelling all darkness and it's at high noon. Not that that can't be done, however, it's highly unlikely. So for something of that magnitude to take place, don't treat it lightly. Don't go over and say, well, something has got to be wrong, so let me go and help write it. You're going to find yourself wrong. And I mean really wrong. Is that clear? Yes, sir. 
And you know the problem with us? One of the main problems that plagues us to death is that you never, and if you do, it's extremely seldom that you look or chase right. You're in a world that magnifies wrong and they have taught you how to chase it all the time. So you never look for what's right. And the whole time you're chasing the wrong, you're missing the right. Well, if you had followed or chased the right sort of thing, really you don't have to chase for it, just look for it. Right will show you the wrong. Am I speaking the truth? Right will show you the wrong. Not somebody else show it to you. Right will show you. Now, it's up to you how much faith, belief, opinion, or will that you have that you will do the right that you found. Most of you say, oh, that's right, but. And the but, if you notice, is always behind you. You can't see it. You know, somebody have to tell you about it. Boy, you got a big butt. You can't see it. That's why you're always chasing it. You want to get a good look at it. And while you're chasing the butt, you're missing all this. The eyes, the nose, the ears, the mouth, the teeth. Everything that's in front, you're missing it. So you can't see the face when it makes it frown. To show that something is not in order. Or you can't see the face when it makes you smile. To show that something is very pleasing. You don't see that because you're looking for the butt. That's right, but. And while you're looking for the butt, you can't prove how if that is right. Because you're not looking. Is that understood? So I'm not going to make this no long drawn out thing. However, I am very, very, very accustomed to disappointment. However, I have a personal relationship with truth. The scientists were speaking to me one day, and I know you've heard this, and they said, you know, you are an individual that loves truth so much, you will try to find it in wrong. Try to find it in wrong. So whenever I am disappointed, even in those people that I've spoke to and told them who they really are, and while I'm telling them who they are from their entity, from their soul, they accept, you can see the, what I'm saying vibrating in every cell. It's like, yeah. They don't come out and say it, but the whole body is saying it. And after they leave, Satan starts talking to them, and they listen. They start listening to the butt. And the next thing I know, they're gone. I don't see it. Disappointment. What I have that does not allow me to go into no slump or stupor about this is that I have or I am the truth. That don't never let me down. So if everything else does, I got one. And the one is independent. Truth is independent. Know the truth to set you free. Not know me. Know the However, since I am the truth, know me too. Or know me one. In the English lesson C1, it says, you know, immediately, immediately after learning this, English lesson C1, look for C2. So you look for the truth, and I am the truth too. Look for C2. So I know if, as long as I use this, employ it, I can never be completely disappointed. Because I can always find another way to get done what must be done. That's a wonderful reality. It means that you can never be denied 
and make it stick. Impossible. You might say, well, I was in love with my husband and uh, God took it. I was denied of a husband. Well, if God took it and you are right with God, you got to get another husband. So you're saying this in between losing him and finding him. And if you wait a while and say to God, God, you know that I know you know that we were as one. In order for me to have any meaning in my life from here on, I've got to have someone equally or above what he was. So I'm asking you, in your own name, bring that to me. And leave it alone. And the next time we see you, you're looking pretty, new clothes, skin done got cleared up. Say, what happened to you? Happened? Child, God took care of me. I got my man. What I'm speaking is real. This is not a plaything, and I'm not beefing it up. This is reality. We should speak about things like this in an upbeat manner because that's the way I work. However, since I'm here, I'm explaining exactly what is happening and why. What is happening and why. So when you question yourself in your mind, you question me in your mind. Why, Father? Go back and listen to the tape. And when you say, oh, you got it. If you don't say, oh, oh, I said, okay. Or if that smile won't come across your face like, mm, you can still have a question. When there's no need for it. If you still have a question after I'm here and explaining something, it's either something wrong with you, and ain't nothing wrong with me. So that don't make it easy, does it? Even in that, I give you a lesson in use of the language. I say things that I hope that you already know is wrong. Then show you how I can be right. Are you all with me? Yes, sir. Is there anything else that needs to be shared concerning this? Was what you heard sufficient for you to operate on? Yes, sir. That's very good. I have sent a a national announcement around the nation concerning this matter and mother's decision. So everyone that's with me should know, and especially after they hear this thing, because this has just now recently took place. It don't mean there's anything wrong with me or you. If you can find something wrong with it, it means that you found something wrong in math. Isn't it wonderful that I didn't place myself before you as your leader? Yes, sir. You know why? Because if I had, these type of matters would be hush-hush. Secret. And if you found out, you know, it would be, the buzz would be going around, but nobody would actually come up, so you could never put no period to it. You couldn't put no period to it. So this way it always leaves you with a question for Satan to answer. And believe me, he jumps at the opportunity to answer it. However, when he does, he never puts a pin to it. The answer lasts for a while. Then you got to come back and answer it again. Then after a while you find yourself so far away from reality, you don't have to answer nothing. You're gone. They ask you, so why did you leave? Well, I, uh, I, uh, why did I leave? Uh, oh, oh, uh, I just couldn't take that, what happened to mother. You couldn't, well, what happened? You left and things are better for you now? Oh, 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 no, sir. Well, what did you accomplish? Uh, I don't know, Father, but at the time, I just had to do something. Well, I understand that, but why didn't you do what I did? I mean, I didn't go to work. I didn't fall, I didn't faint. This was done to me, not you. I'm the one to produce that. 
I remember the messenger said he taught Malcolm. Like personally taught him. And when Malcolm turned hypocrite, he said, I'll never teach nobody like Larry again. Never. They'll never know how to come against me because of me teaching them. I teach you I please. And then invite you to come against me if you feel like it. And I guarantee you, double dare you, you ain't going to win. I already know it. You're not going to. One plus one does not equal to be five. It does in your mind. So you left out three and four. And that's the ones that you left out. That's what I'm going to take you out with. You got that? And what I'm saying, if you're in accord with the rhythm of truth, you can say the same thing and do it. This is not no monopoly on power or knowledge or wisdom. I don't have the monopoly on it. If I did, I wouldn't share it with you. I'd keep it to me and use it on you. Are you listening? So I expect for you to do what I do. And if you don't, well then I'm looking, well I know something is wrong with you. Because if it was wrong with me, I always have the opportunity out for you to show me. Where is it wrong? Show me. Well, Father, we don't mind calling you Father. But then ministers are always getting up talking about you a law, royal, a law in person, blah, blah, you know. Why you got to say that? If you wasn't, if you didn't say that, well, you know, maybe we 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 we, we could work together. Oh, we could? Who do you say, who, you know, who the hell say I want to work with you? We gonna work together? As though you got, I'm taking a partner. Yes, sir. We gonna work together. That's the way you talk to yourself. I know it because you come right to me and told me. If you just wouldn't use that father. You have to end up paying for that. But what you're doing is good. It's good for our people. If you didn't do that, we could work together and things would go faster. I'm looking at the person. You know what would happen if I denied my existence, who I really am? I would be living a lie. There's no way in the world, and I hope you listen, especially to the dumb Louis followers. There's no way in the world or in history where it is written after the messenger, then after the reminder, Joe Blow come up. And he took the people on off into ecstasy. Can't find it. The messenger says he didn't even mention Lewis. He said, after me comes God himself. He didn't say, after me, Lewis should stand up and remind the people, and then God will come. The reminder was so insignificant, he just said, after me comes the law himself, God himself. And if it pleases the God, not if it pleases Louis, if it pleases the God, I may be with him. That's written. So you can't say, I just said it, and you can't find it. Is that right? So anybody, anybody, anybody that's showing up saying that they are this or that and they're not wearing the title of law, they can't prove that they're supposed to be here in that capacity. Is that right? So the one that does show up and says that I am the supreme being, I am Allah in his own person, wearing the name at this particular time of royal. Find another name or title in this English language that supersedes that name. It's so majestic, it's not even considered a name. Royalty is not a name. It shows you the degree of worth and value of that which you're putting the name on. Is that clear? Yes, sir. 
or should I have to go over it again? So if you use the math in the way that I've been teaching you, or just use it the way you learned in school, use your timetables. If it's time for a law, why is somebody else going to show up? And everybody that's come between from the minister ain't built no nation. They ain't built no nation. They build a $5 million restaurant off of your money, but you can't eat in it because it's closed. And many other ventures that he went into, you can't, it doesn't benefit you at all. But he's supposed to be the man? That's not what prophet said. That's not what God has said. So as long as you hung up in that stupidity, you are losing. You are losing, not me. And not anyone that's with me because you're losing. We're not losing. We see you. Like the book reads, the one that with the sight are looking at the blind walking around in the darkness claiming that they can see. Yes, sir. But we're looking at you. You don't see us, but we see you stumbling and fumbling. And we tell you, hey, don't walk over there. You know, that's where the fire is. They go in hell. Because they think we don't see, and we see that they don't see. You got anything from this? If you're going to be with me, if you're going to be with life, you have got to mathematically calculate how you're going to respond to that which is right for the time. For the time. When they return, which they have no choice, this type of message would be out of time. It would have passed. It would be wrong if it's brought about after they come back. So we always got to apply time with truth until we remove or I remove the reason for time and bring everything just into is. And if it just is, you can't apply time to it because it's never old. It's never young. It's never out, it's never in, it's never over, it's never under, it's never through, just is. And a good example of what is that's in your face every day, that never shows age, never shows, it always has the appearance like it just got here, but you know you can't even find the origin of it. It's water. According to what the messenger said, of course I am God, Allah. But I'll just say what the messenger said. When you find the origin of water, you'll find the origin of God. Why is water looking like it's new all the time? It don't show age. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. I see it's a little hot in here. Is what I've shared with you clear enough for you to see without having a prejudice to what you see? Your instructions is not to aid in no way, shape, or form that your mind can come up with what Satan will dictate to you. Mother, cancel that out. Put that on the back burner and wait for it to catch up with you then you can go back into motion again. This is a direct order from me, the supreme being of the universe. You got it? Now I will, I most certainly will find out who is in accord with me and who's against me. And I'm not going looking for it. You're going to tell on yourself. You got it? All right. If we have any questions that you would like to have answered, I will take five questions today. Therefore, I tomorrow I intend to be here, and we're going to go over a few things that's regarding the best of me, the fruit of Islam, and what you are to expect, if you all don't mind.
I think that'll be the first time that I have attended a fruit class here. So if you'll have me, I'll be honored. So if there's no questions, we'll bring the secretary up. Oh, let me say this. All right, okay. Oh, we got a couple questions. Hold on, let me say this. You can go, you can go at the mic if you want. Get in line. Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. This is to the 144,000. The promise that was made to you, which is still valid, that you shall have money, good homes, and friendships in all walks of life, peace of mind, and contentment of heart. We have now stepped into the possibility of that being a reality. I'm going to say it again. One of the 144,000 has been working diligently night and day with the backing of me and the angels to make sure that my word is true. You shall have what has been promised to you. And upon you receiving it and the attitude of you will determine whether I give you your youth back. Give it back. You're not going to earn it. If you are yourself the way you're supposed to be with the gratitude or gratefulness or the submissiveness, then I have to give you more than money and good homes and friendships and all walks of life. That don't cause you to have everlasting life. It may extend it a year or two because it lessens the friction that you experience every day trying to make it in this world. However, if you are obedient, then this is what I want to do, is give your youth back to you. And you should be wise enough of whatever resources that is given to you because of your behavior and because of your diligence waiting for this to take place. I'm expecting you to know how to use it. Is that clear? So we have stepped, we've already stepped through the door. So get ready. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum, Father. Uh, once again, it's a privilege and honor uh, for you to be in our midst today. We we'll welcome you to our lovely city here in L.A. Uh, my question uh, has to do with uh, the uh, current uh, violence of, of the uh, police department in Inglewood. How do we avoid? Um, well, I'll answer the, that. I'll answer the it. contact. Uh, this is this is what you have to do. Maybe I should wait till you finish answering the question. But I know what you're going to say. So should I wait or just go ahead and give the answer? Okay. Uh, well, you can go on uh, because uh, it's just there's uh, just so much madness going on in the city. I know myself. Uh, I'm constantly stopped uh, by officers. You know, ask me to get out of the car and all of that. How do we avoid that in this uh, hour of desperation? Well, as long as you're with me and you're really with me, you have an aura. After a while, when they stop you enough, they're going to know you. It's a waste of time stopping you. You know, those ones that are really with me, those are the ones, like I said in the beginning, that Satan focuses on. The more that you're really with me, the more focus. So they will send everything and everybody to your child, to your wife, to the police officers, to a dog to try to break you. However, every time they stop you, if you're with me, ain't nothing they can do. They say, get out of the car. Yes, sir. May I search your pockets? Hey, I'll help you. Can I search the car? Here's the keys. Right away, it disarms them because what they are looking for, they're looking for the righteous. However, they're looking for themselves in the righteous. 
If they can't find nothing of them in you, they got to let you go. But if they see the righteous, then they see that you got, you know, just one little small duck, what do you call it, a reefer, you know, on your sock. That's them. So then they want to exploit their self. It like gives them the right to do evil to the righteous. If you have nothing to hide, they stop you, see them, the lights come on, pull over. You know the routine? Just wait. They walk up, license, registration, already have it ready. Police stop me. I knew he was going to do it because I, when I passed by him, he's sitting underneath the viaduct, calling himself, sneaking up on people. I just cruised on by, had an old car. I like the old car. Just driving along. So I got about a mile down the road. I said, now he's going to pull out now. He shot at my niece the thing, flipped his lights on. He was coming like a bat out of hell. I kept my same speed. He passed everybody, coming right behind me. I just pulled over. Reached in the government apartment, got everything ready for him. He came to the door. I said, yeah. It shocked him. Guess what he said he stopped me for? I didn't have my seatbelt on. Then he wanted to search the car. Go ahead. He popped the trunk. I had my shaving kit, one little suitcase. He looked in all of that. It was too simple. And while he's doing that, another police cruiser pulls up behind him. He just sit there, watching. And after he went through his spill, he said, okay, Mr. Jenkins, we're going to give you a warning this time. Put your seat back on. I said, no problem. He gave me the warning ticket, put it, I, I put the seatbelt on, he said, now if you get caught, before you get out of this state, and you ain't got it on, you're going to get a ticket. No problem. Snapped it on, went on out of the state. Uh, lastly, uh, Father. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Do you understand what, what, what was said? Do you understand what was said? Yes, when you said, uh, if we have an, uh, the aura of righteousness, then we'll be able to uh, get through this. Yes, sir. Now, you can't just have the aura. You got to be it to the best of your knowledge. You know, uh, if you got a cigarette on you or something like that, they may consider that as a you know, little minor thing. But anything that they can really get you with, that's what they're looking for, and it indicates the time. It indicates the time. It's gotten to a point now. You got to know me. You have got to. If you don't, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. Just like the little boy banging his head on anything, off the punching him in the face, whatnot. 16 or 15 to 16 year old boy. He ain't with me. And his parents never encouraged him to be with me. They ain't with me. So if you ain't with me, it ain't but two forces a lie and Satan. You either with a lie or you with Satan. And if Satan do the hell he wants to, he do what he wants to do with you. You can't, you can protest and they laughing. It lets them know I'm powerful. Look at them. They protested what I have done. I am powerful. But when they get one of the righteous, damn. Yeah, I ain't got no power over that. I couldn't even make any French. You see? Yes. That's what's happening. So don't even worry about that. It ain't like I wasn't here. It ain't like the message wasn't raised up. All of that has been done. So there is no excuse. Like you see what's here? There's no excuse for no more people to be here in this. The place is filled, however, compared to the people that actually need this, this is nothing. However, the nothing that's here is what's going to make the something. And the ones out there that think that there's something, most certainly, they're going to be proven to be nothing. That's how you got to see it. Uh, lastly, uh, Father, may I shake your hand? May you shake my hand? Yes. Uh, yes, sir, you can do that. <laughs> yes, sir. I some Lego. <laughs> Give the mic back. Pardon me? Give the mic back. Okay. I said I some Lego. Give the mic back first. Now, give it back to him. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, I heard you mention about Louis Farrakhan, and 
I came into the uh, fall of Islam in 1975, uh, just after the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had passed, and the son took over. Even I'm Worthy Muhammad. Yes, sir. And I want to know your connection uh, with him, and because I understand that you're saying that I know Imam Worth Muhammad. I heard him speak about two weeks ago, and he was talking about freedom, justice, and, and equality for all people. And I noticed you said that you building a nation, and you said nobody is doing as much work today as that you doing. And I was brought here by Kenneth Adex, and he was telling me about you guys have a, a, a big farm, and like in Kansas, and you guys doing a good thing. But what I want to know is your correlation between yourself, Solomon, and uh, Imam Worthy Muhammad. Well, Imam Worthy Muhammad was a man that was commissioned by us before he was born, even as Yaku. He's the return of Yaku. Like Joseph the king is the return of Elijah. Updated. Warwick Dean Wallace at the time was commissioned by me and the order of creation to be the one to test the ones that came from his father or from the message. So he is a tester, that's all. And all of the ones that was with his father, he got seven out of ten of them with him right now. He's talking freedom, justice, and equality, but he's not doing it. He's just talking. And I don't have no form in this and a form. No, what I have that is significant is a system, not a form, not a bakery, not a truck. That's not what I have. We have all these things to perform in the system. And the system is providing freedom for us. It is providing the avenue that where we can stand up and be men. We're not told what to do. The system and the purpose part dictate what must be done and we do it. We don't do what white folks do because of what they do or why they do it. We don't do that. We don't farm to feed the people, everybody. No, we farm to feed our own people that has agreed to be with this. Outside of that, we don't feed nobody. If we got some overage and they come and want it, well, fine. I mean, we'll sell it to you. But the purpose is that we have a system set up. If we're saying we're with Allah and Allah is with us, we got to show some type of independence other than lip service. Wallace has performed his duty well, and it was over with three and a half years after the passing of the messenger. However, to keep the ones from this, he still allowed them to look at him as though he's some type of guide, and he's working with the knowledge of Allah through the Quran, and this way, everybody's hoping that we get some more morals in the country. You know, I'm halfway mocking him. Because that's what he's done with me. What the hell is morals going to do? If you don't have a place to practice them. Your children are listening to the stuff that Wallace is talking about. Or allowing to happen. Rap. A bunch of music that kills the very spirit and soul of the individual. However, because money is placed before it, that's it. Oh, please. Now I see on the news that Biggie Smalls or whatever it is, the IRS is after him for millions of dollars. Is that him? Oh, you didn't see it yet? Well, I thought I saw it yesterday. Shoot night or whoever it is. In other words, you got to pay the Pied Piper. And that's white folks. And what Wallace has done, he has took the black man and the system and the program for black people and turned the people back over to the Pied Piper. However, he was ordained to do that because like it reads in the Holy Quran, after the teacher is removed, then we will send the testator. You got to be tested to see if you pass. So he was the live living tester of the ones that came and said, I'm with you, Elijah. I'm you, my man, I'm with you. I salam alaikum, I'm your brother. So we send a test. Oh, really? And if you're really with him, we'll see. The seven out of ten that was with the messenger wasn't with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Assalamu alaikum, Father. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, it's, I feel honored to finally meet you after all these years of listening to you. Uh, I've been wanting to ask you this question for some years. Um, when I was born, I was given the name uh, Khalid Waleyuddin Abdullah. And um, my father and my sister, their last name is Allah. And I always felt, I never felt like less than they were, but I always felt like, why wasn't I given the last name Allah? And my sister is older than me, and I came after she did. And I wanted to know if maybe it was because you knew that I would have to prove myself or something in life, but go ahead and speak on it. No, sir. And let me explain this to you. A lot of times, when you're named full names, most of the time I'm not naming you. Can you repeat that? Most of the time, when your parents give you a name, and if the name is a full name, I'm not naming you. You want to say it again? I... The messenger taught, and which is true, that he would not name you. He could, but he wouldn't do that. Because he didn't want to be found doing what Allah said he would do. So I have not, I, from the time when you were born, I had not shown up in a way that I'm actually presenting myself as the supreme being. Not that I could not have named you then. Most of the time, when the parents named you, they stepped ahead of me. And they gave you the wrong name. Because they didn't have no understanding. And quite often, guess who did name you? If it wasn't me. But that's no fault of you. So it does foster what you just experienced or been experiencing up to now. Why not me? Why was it a girl at that? Older than me. Why was it me that got the name? So I didn't name you. But the person that did, did it for confusion. Always keeping a question in your mind, am I good enough? When I see God, I'm going to ask him, you know, what's wrong with me? I mean, are you pleased with me? You understand what I'm saying? Exactly, yeah. So, I wouldn't worry about it. Wait until I name you. It'll be right on it. And you're a black man, and you got... And stand up, brother. I don't mean like, you know, just stand up, standing up. But even in your posture, stand up. This here. In other words, try to make everything from here down, try to match this. Stand up. And when you walk, when you move, when you think, when you talk, when you sit, always try to make everything you do match this. Don't allow this to make this do this. Don't do that. Because as long as you're doing that, you will never look up because the light is always up or it's out. You can't see it. You can see the evidence of it, but you see it, even this ceiling light. You got to. And if you see the sun, the real light, you got. You follow what's being said? Yes, sir. So being as young as you are, all of the possibilities for you to be God or to be pleased by God is before you. You have to start knowing if you are here, you have a purpose. And the purpose is divine, whether it is negative or positive. Wallace is negative, but it's necessary. So it's divine. Lewis wasn't necessary. That kind of a hypocrite wasn't necessary. Was not ordained by God. And that's why I said, Elijah, if you take him, that's yours. I had nothing to do with him. And the messenger knew that. So the messenger asked him, he said, well, Allah, 
When he turned hypocrite, would you go get him? When, when, when he turns hypocrite, would you go get him and bring him back? Because that's someone that I love. I love him. Like I said in the beginning. So he disappointed the messenger. Because the messenger asked me and I said, okay, I'll go get him. I went and got him and brought him back. And made him remind the people for 10 years. So I kept my word to the messenger. You see? So, in your case, brother, hold your head up. Make your whole posture stand up. Oh, well, I always do when I walk down the street. I was just a little nervous. I was trying to stand comfortably. But yeah, I do keep my head up. All right, well, if, if you can, come to the temple here, and we might refine you and fine-tune you a little bit. Brothers such as yourself is needed. You know, you're not worthless. You are needed to help save your people. And that don't mean you going out selling no pies and doing nothing like that. That's over with. That's out. That don't save nobody. What is needed is that the people see you being upright. That speaks louder than you selling them a paper, giving them a watermelon, inviting them to the temple. Because temples are fixed places. You're the greatest temple. You're not fixed. You move around. And every time somebody sees you, they say, whoa, God's with him. If they got a nerve enough, they come up and ask you, brother, what you doing? Who you know? Who you with? See, I'm with Allah. You mean the Allah? I mean the, the, the real Allah? Yes, sir. Well, who could that be? Well, you haven't heard? No, no, I haven't heard it. Well, his name is Royal. He got a temple down the street there. However, I'm the best temple. Because I can go, I can walk with you. That temple down there, I can't walk with you. You got to walk to it. You got it? Yes, sir. You got another question? Uh, no, Father, I don't. All right. This is your home, brother. And you're not going to be yourself until you come home. Like the prodigal son. And, and even look at that, how it goes. The son that never left home. The father showed all his love to this son. Son didn't have, he had everything. And when the son that had left, like mother, went on out and squandered all the riches and, and just, just was crazy. Then after Satan had whipped him thoroughly, then he said, well, look, I'll, yeah, I'm just, if I just have to wash dishes or clean up behind the mules, I'm going back to my father's house. And then he came back to his father's house and the first thing, his father said, hey, kill the fattest calf. Bring the ring that symbolized my love for my family. Place it on his finger. And the son has been there all the time. Hold up. I mean, I've been here all along. You didn't name me a lot. You see? So that was a disappointment to his father. It would have, in other words, his father received joy, but at the same time, Satan stepped in and tainted it. It would be much better if the son that was already there said, that's a good thing, Father. Thank you. I, I've been thinking about my brother for a long time. I'm so happy he's home. Then there would have been no tainting. The father would have jumped up and down and said, look, son, I'm glad you're back, but you share this wealth that I gave you with this brother here. You see? But his father had to say, look, hey, you sit down. This one has gone out and went through a trial, and he came back. He has knowledge that you have no knowledge of. You see? This is real. Real, real, real. If that's it, okay. Yes, sir. Well, let them out. Salam alaikum, Holy Father. Well, let them sit down, That was my son that just uh, sit down right there. Yes, sir. I'm the one that gave him that name. So uh, let me explain this. This has been kind of plaguing me a while, too. At the time <laughs> that I chose this name, I was in uh, San Quentin. Wallace had changed the, uh, uh, was in transition, the messenger had passed. Yes, sir. Okay, I was catching so much hell from the Muslims. Let me explain this because, you know, I, I have thought about this too. Yes, sir. How his daughters had a name, you know, and I seen the messenger had named a few people, uh, Sally Allah and stuff like that, right? I never had a father. And uh, I do this, the, the reasoning with the book that uh, called no man on the earth father, so I signed it up. You know, 
that uh, I, yes, I take our lives, my father, right? Yes, sir. And when the transition came down, it was a confusion there, like with Wallace. So I, I was stumbling, like, when he came along, I sit down for two days, you know, trying to figure out what could I call him, what kind of name could I give him. I know that my, I used the name Wahid Hakeem a lot. That's just a general statement of fact that applies to all black men. I know that's not my real name. Yes, sir. But I just wanted to have something that, like the messenger said, a good name is better than gold. I see. I know I ain't living up to this, but I know I'm a wise black man. Sometime a foolish one. I ain't got no problem about dropping it. At, 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 if you say, "Hey, don't use it no more," I ain't gonna use it no more. <laughs> yes, sir. I have no problem with that. Okay. And my two daughters, when they was born, Dae was born in. Uh, I was um, in San Quentin. I, had, I seen her through the glass. We the Muslims at that time was fighting, you know, bloody and you know, all that kind of stuff. And and uh, that's how I chose that name. I chose that name because. Uh, the Muslims, like when, when I, the war that I went through with the Muslims in the penitentiary, I used to always wonder about, I said, how you know what I'm going through? Little did I know that you was on the other side of the, on the East Coast going through the same thing that I was. Yes, so when you told your story about how you was going through this here, just made me say, well, he understand. Because I used to, I, I, I used to, you know, call you out of the sky. I said, come on, let's fight and let's get it over with. I know I ain't going to get but one in, not even that. <laughs> I was tired. Yes, sir. Okay, that's how he got that name. See, I was in that confusion with Wallace, right? And the way the Muslims treated me, they treated me like God. I came after I came off of death row. I didn't have to fight no white boys in Mexico. I'm fighting the Muslims. I didn't even understand that. Yes, sir. Well, let, let me explain this. Yeah, to all of us here. The very thing that spawned the purpose or the reasons for you naming your child. Mm -hmm. was either desperation. Right. And from that, what causes desperation is Satan. Right. So I'm not saying that you were wrong. It's just not his name. Right. I understand why it was done. However, no blame is placed on you. Okay. So we're keeping everything into the spiritual. Okay. Not mental or personal or physical. Mm -hmm. Because that's not what I, I'm in the absence of me in this particular kind of knowledge, you did like the messenger said. In my absence, do the best you can. He didn't say in my absence, you be perfect and pray to Allah and Allah will save you. He didn't say that. He said in my absence, do the best you can. And then Allah will show up. So there's nothing wrong with what you did. Because we know why you did it. Mm -hmm. And it's somewhat of a harmless thing, although it has left a question on your son's mind, which I hope has been answered. Yes, and sir. if it is, and he take the answer as being genuine, he should feel a relief. Right. So, and also you. Mm -hmm. So at least you didn't name him Tom, Dick, or Harry. Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, what did come up would be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You know, so now you're in the right place. So whatever you have longed for is finally appearing. Yes. So when it gets time and I get around to you, I'm most certainly going to name you for what you are, not how it sounds. Right. If I give you Abdul, that's what you're going to be. You're going to be Abdul. If I give you Mr. Nobody, that's your name. That's what you, that's what you are, Mr. Nobody. You know, I, you know, I'm just saying this as a reality. You know, if I see you, and I got to know how to do this, because I got to know who is who. If I, you know, if, if you go to have put lights and put an electric in here, you got to know who can do this. If you can't do it, you got to get somebody to know how to do it. So if I need a certain level of knowledge expressed from its essence, and it actually be the person that's doing it, I got to be able to see, look into the eyes, oh, this is the one. Uh, would you go take care of someone, 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 someone? Oh, yes, sir, Father, I'd love to do that. I've been waiting for it. I knew it. Because I saw it. I just offer you the opportunity. So when you go to do it, I don't have to chase you. I have to go by and check behind you. Because that's what you like to do. You're going to do it. If you do something wrong, it's going to be small. And I just bring it to your attention. Maybe it's been better if you did it. Someone said, oh, yes, sir, I see that. So it ain't, it's never no fight. And it's always done right. With the right spirit. So everything turns out right. You ain't never experienced it, have you? Well, if you haven't, you're going to. If you with me.
Yes, right. sir, Father. Yeah, I, you know, I was just uh, down here from uh, Santa Barbara, and uh, this morning I got up. I said, I ain't never on time. So I rolled around and waited till the doors opened and everything. And I was coming here to find out when you was coming, right? Yes, when sir. I got here, they said, well, he's here. I yes, mean, sir. I was here, you know, I was here. I told my son, I said, I come down here for Pops to have you on a little fun and stuff, right? Yes, sir. So Pops did his thing. You know, I got up early, and I, I tried to find a bow tie. You yes, know? sir. And, um, I, but I didn't have time to get that, you know. But I want to ask you about this woman thing, man. When I when I so she first uh, joined up with you, when I say joined up, I mean when I start introduced to you. Yes, sir. I remember last time I said I was with you when you walked out the door. You looked back at me. Do you know what you talk about? One of them kind of looks. <laughs> what I meant. Let me clear that up. I meant in the mind. Okay? Yes, sir. And um, and you said one time you said I'd be with you in a few days. That's been about two, three years ago. I had a few things to work out. But since we got eternity, I guess that is a few days. <laughs> yeah. But I, what I want to know is, uh, it seems like a woman is always associated with, uh, like, with what you went through. What I want, I joined up with you. I got hooked up with this woman, and and uh, I ran from her at first, Father. I didn't even like her. <laughs> and then when when I got involved with you, somehow I got weak. And uh, her name is Cynthia. Can you tell me what that name means? I just want to know out of curiosity, because that's something like. I uh, mean, someone within. Someone within. Someone within. I could say sympathy. However, if they didn't get in you, you couldn't come up with sympathy. It's got to be somebody that actually got into your your working, your thinking. Right. So everything you do, you include them in it. Now, if I if I, if I fix dinner, what does she like to eat? If I go over here and stay too long, what's she gonna say? So she done got in. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, and anybody else that experiences sympathy for someone, you can't experience it unless they've got in. Making sense? So that's what it means. Okay. You try to get away, but she got in. Yeah, she got, yeah, she definitely got in four years. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I'm at a stage now, not right now, that uh, I need you to maybe kind of get me close to the house or something. Uh well, that's very easy to do. If you have a will to be close to the house, yep. there is, and what makes, and, and brothers, listen. You really, I mean, I, I don't know how to say it any plainer. You really are God. Not no play God. You, I mean, you are the God. Everything that you would need if you never ever see me. You only need it to be stimulated here. So you can begin to think right. Use the method that Allah uses to make his self come out right. It's called math. Yes, sir. Think mathematically. Think in the terms of fractions to produce the whole. Think it. See it to its conclusion before you even take a foot or a step to start in that direction physically. So if you want to get close to the house, get the tapes, listen to it, come to the temples, talk to someone that is in motion in that direction. It don't mean you have to go live with them if you just call them up once a week or whenever necessary. Say, look, man, I'm, I'm having some thoughts about so and so and so. What do you think about that? You might say, well, I don't have time to talk about it now. Well, when will you? Because I, I, I really like to know. Well, I tell you what, my, my brother is here. I'm quite sure he can ask me, would you talk to him? Yeah, I'll talk to him. And then the person is gone, but you, you start talking to his brother. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised what that does. And before you know it, it won't be like, Father, oh, Father. It'd be, oh, Father. Because now you and I can relate eye to eye. It's not that I'm, I'm a lot, I'm the big eye over you. I ain't over nothing. But my wife, I'm over them. At least I think so. In, anybody else? This is why the term is always shared from me that I am sharing what I have with you. The reason why that is because I don't own nothing. I know the Bible reads, well, Allah owns everything. Allah, you know, Allah, the, he's the this and he's the that. That's true. It would be better if it read, Allah is the author of all things. 
This way, I may be the author of the book, but you bought it, you own it. I never owned it. I had an idea that I put in a book and shared it with the people. I don't own that. If I did, I would keep it. It's mine. That's the way it is with the truth. I am the truth. However, I can't prove it if I don't share it. And if I share it, it means now you got it and I still have it. But if it's mine, if I give it to you, then I ain't got it anymore. You got it. Am I talking too fast? So, most people think, well, he wants to be a law so he can fatten his pockets up. Please. Please. I don't have pockets big enough to hold my wealth. I don't have it. Because the earth is mine in that sense. Meaning that not mine in a possessive way. All of the laws that it takes for the earth to function, I'm the master of. So when I push the button, the earth cannot hold back. But I don't own it. So why am I looking for wealth from you all? I got to give you the wealth. Or point you in the direction where it is and see if you go get it. You see what I'm saying? So if you do that, you start opening up here. It don't have anything to do personally with you and I. The best thing that a a brother can do between he and I is to give thanks that I actually showed up. And gave him the combination of the safe. But what's waiting for him is in the safe, not me. That makes sense? Yes, sir. So this don't mean that when you hear this, well, he's saying that he's really not a law. He's not that, not that much. He's just a brother. I'm not saying that. Because that's going to cause you to disrespect. And I do have the button to cut off all that. Did you think you're going to get I cut it off you. One day you wake up, you don't know, you can't even remember your name. But it don't belong to you. I don't own it. But I have use of it all the time. You see what I'm saying? And you have the same use of it if you have the knowledge. That's all I'm asking you to do. Get the knowledge and explore it. Use it. I mean, you ain't got to be in college or school or someplace. When I mean, you get in the car, make sure you get in right. If you're going to go unlock it, make sure the key don't scratch the paint. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. And the only way you can make sure, you got to be doing it. You can't do like most sisters go stick the key and turn the head and it whoops. When they get close to a thing, they're so sure that that's it. They start focusing on something else and they're still in motion doing what they went to do. And half time they miss it. Men are not to do that. You are, you are not sure and complete until you get it all the way in and turn it. And say, click. Then you turn it back, take the key out. You're sure. Satan couldn't come in no way to mess you up. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So that's my relationship with you and how yours should be with me. I'm the fountain of you. I'm the fountain of knowledge. I'm the real fountain. I really am. What will determine how full you get is how much you drink. You can't get to the end of it. You can't. Oh, uh, uh, Brother Minister, did you read the, uh, what is the minister? He done slipped it. Oh. Did you read the uh, post where the brother was trying to explain infinity? You didn't read it? Well, how many of y'all got uh, computers? Do you keep up with us on the net? There's one or two of you. You should keep up with us. Get our address on the net and keep up with us. Because you got a lot of brothers trying to explain things. This was a five percenter. He's trying to explain what infinity is. And I can't be a law. There ain't no such thing as or no real law because every time you get to the high what you think you got, there's something always over that. So you never get to the origin of nothing based on what he's saying. That's preposterous. May I explain to you what infinity is? Yes, sir. Infinity is the unending space for thinking. For thinking. It is no difference with infinity as there is with space itself. 
Space is the physical thing that you work with every day. I need enough space to put my hanky in my pocket. I need enough space to park my car. I need enough space to make me another planet. You never run to the end of space. However, unless you put something in the space, space can't justify it if it even exists. You can't even measure space if you don't put something in it. It's the same thing with infinity. If you don't come up with something in your thoughts, you can't prove that infinity exists because infinity can't prove it itself. So infinity is the space for you to come up with the thoughts and space is the place where it holds the material of what you have brought. You got that? Yes, sir. If you didn't have space, it couldn't hold the material. If you didn't have infinity, you have a boundary on your thinking. You couldn't go so far, you couldn't go no further. But infinity allows you to go as far as you want to go. And you are the author of everything that comes in infinity. The thought is the author. And that what fills infinity up, if it's to be filled up. Outside of the thought, you can't prove it. It can't prove itself. So there's no difference in infinity and space. Space is the physical. Infinity is the spiritual. It only means there's room for growth. It ain't nothing there. If it was something there, then it wouldn't be infinity because you couldn't get past the boundary of what's there. So since it's infinity, there's always room for mental growth. So I will be creating forever. Because there is infinity in my thinking. And there is enough space to fill up what I thought about. So there ain't no difference between the two. However, until you come to speak with me, they might be a little confused about that. Would you say so? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I just want to say that uh, every time you come, I'm going to just stand up and say something. <laughs> I mean, this golden opportunity, man, just to look around and see that so few people are here to see God, you know. I remember when I first uh, came to see you, it was right here. I, I was trembling all the way. I knew I knew I was coming to see God. My soul knew this here, right? I got one more thing. I'm a numerologist, you know. I studied, but the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was teaching on them numbers. It led me into numerology. Would that help me with that mathematical thinking? Oh, yes, sir. However, it has to be done with a new turn to it. For example... Are you holding it? <laughs> Numerology is an association with the planets, the activity that's already here, with the stars, sun, moon, and your existence. It lets you know when you came, what power you came in or under, what's expected, what influence that you already influenced with, how you're going to act, what kind of character you got, what not. So when you know that, you will know how to do certain things. You, it lessens disappointment. That's why when you go to get a job with, with, with white folks, and the job is a, a meticulous job. When you go, they say, well, write down your name and address and your date of birth. They may ask you some other things, but they want your date of birth and your name. Now, according to how particular this particular job is that they want you to do, they go through the chart. See, now, this person here is stubborn. This person here is lackadaisy. This person here fluctuates. This person here is not stable. This one here, oh, hey, this is our man here. This is him. They don't look at you. They look at when you came. And that tells them what power is influencing you. That's what they do. You do the same thing. You know, it don't mean that none of you is wrong based on how you came, when you came. All of you are right. But you got from 1 to 13 tribes. So based on what you do, and most of us are doing the wrong thing. So it looks like we don't know nothing. You married to the wrong person. You're doing the wrong thing. You're thinking the wrong thoughts. Everything is just wrong. So when I show up, oh man, please. Him, Allah? That's pitiful. Why don't he get him some dentures? 
That would be more believable. These are thoughts that run through your mind. But they're not your thoughts. They're the thoughts of Satan. Everything that happens, happens for a reason. And once you find out the reason, then you have understanding. Not have an excuse. Since I am a law, I'm real. If it's offensive to you, so be it. If it's not offensive to me, that's where you find me. If it's offensive to me, then I change it. How many of you all were at the uh, Independence? Uh, this is one thing I said, and I'm going to say this again there. Really listen to what I'm going to say. In the beginning of this transition from right, from wrong, back to right, meaning we white folks, after they had their time, 6,000 years, for to get you from wrong to be brought back to right, you were absolutely participating in an activity that had been forced on you that's physical. Everything that you did, white folks had you doing something physical. So when we came, we came physical. Master Farad Muhammad, representing black and white, half original. However, most of the Muslims that came under the teaching of the messenger don't want to look at that. When it comes to Master Farad Muhammad, we no, no, he's the original man. They just talk crazy because that's what they want to happen in their heart. But that's not the fact. He came as a physical man. Which nobody has seen God before. Now this is supposed to be Allah in his person. So now everybody got to look at a person. Because that's what the messenger said. That's what was the message. Allah is man. God is man. Okay, Elijah, well, where is he? This is him. So now we're looking at a physical thing. But in this physical thing that we're looking at, we're looking at two extremes. The original man and the grafted man. In one man. So everybody operated on that for a good little while. All praise is due to Allah. Who came in the person of Matthew Rama. They just made a song of it. After that served its purpose. And you work from the physical back to the spiritual. Which is me. Now the spiritual don't work on the physical. Showing no physical thing white and black. It's got to show the spiritual part of it. Where is the duality in the spiritual? It has to be right and wrong. Right and wrong. What you all started out here, right and after the right. Maybe you all wouldn't say left face? Yes, sir. So it's got to be right and wrong. So I have got to represent that. Everything you hear coming from me, you can't prove other than it's right. However, when you look at me, something is wrong. So I am in keeping with what I'm doing. I should have all my dentures. I don't. That's wrong. It don't correspond with the right. However, I'm representing right and wrong. And the wrong is so insignificant that I pay it no attention. Until I want to pay attention to it and change it. You ain't get that, did you? Yes, sir. Before they were saying, Master Farad Muhammad, his father, brother Alfonso, a real black man, and his mother, a Caucasian. This man was specially produced to come and find the lost sheep, the black man. So we produced him in dyed garments, meaning that we took his body and combined it and made him appear to be white. And at the same time, he couldn't be accepted to be black. To get the thing in motion. Now we've gotten to the part where I'm here, Allah himself, and my duty is to make sure that you learn how to be God. Not how to worship God. Not how to follow God. How to be God. And to be God, you got to know the essence of everything. 
You got to know what's right. You got to know what's wrong. So since I have not got away or did away with wrong, I got to show up as both. And if you take a look, that's what you hear and see. Am I lying? No, sir. So, I'll take care of that small problem in a few days. You got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to let that you. Our Father, who is heaven, yes, sir. I'd like to preach you our small lincoln and uh, leave it at that. Yes, sir. Well, it comes along. Yeah. Yes, sir. Lincoln, Father. Lincoln, Sam, Brother Secretary. Yes, sir, Father. First of all, we'd like to thank you from on behalf of the members of Los Angeles for coming, for you and the royal family coming out to visit us once again. Yes, sir. And uh, secondly, um, I'd like for you, Father, would you share with us, uh, since that the ones that are with you, we've been studying for the past, at least here in Los Angeles, for the past seven years. We've been going through our training and whatnot. Now you've sent one of the representatives of the 144,000 to Africa, and they have unleashed or unlocked the first part uh, the floodgates of the wealth that's coming to us and for the benefit of those who think that this is just an organization or something just passing and that you even you're going to pass one day that we you share with us what that means to not only just the members how we own to them as well how they will benefit from the floodgates of wealth that is about to be unleashed from africa especially with the first few transactions that we have come into yes yeah. sir what that really means is that this is a perfect opportunity for every black person on the planet, not just in North America, however, on the planet, to be active in producing themselves or bringing themselves back into the mode in which they're supposed to be, which is a righteous being, being right. Now, you can't be right talking. you got to be doing something. So now what is taking place with the ones that's in Africa that has been locked up by the Caucasian and that colonialism that they have there, they cannot get none of the wealth out of their country or do anything with it where it's going to help them. And by me going over and breaking that chain, busting the barrier down, and allowing that to take place, we are going to start to rebuild, or not rebuild, we're going to start to build Africa as it should be, where it will represent intelligence. And it has the wealth there to actually cause it to take place. They didn't have the knowledge. So with our knowledge of being new here in North America, new, spiritual, that's the best you can be here in North America. No black man here, even Michael Jackson, he, he can't do nothing. With all his millions, he can't do nothing. To go sing over in Seoul someplace where two or three million come and see him, that counts for nothing. It builds their spirit up and they dance and pop their fingers and when they go on, it dies right back out. So when you're doing something that is meaningful. So here's the young man over here in this country. Backed up by Allah himself because Allah is here. He goes back to his father's house. And starts to rebuild or build the homes and the infrastructure that represents civilization. And all of the wealth there is in the country. We don't have to take it out. Just apply it right there. And then this makes the whole world stand up and say, my God, there's got to be God doing this. Because we've been here 6,000 years. We had everything set up where they cannot do nothing. And here they come in and they broke, broke through. So this is going to let everybody in this country here. See, these are really the children of God. And they're most certainly the peacemakers. Because they're bringing peace. Now, it, it makes what the prophet said, all of the people that made war are now beating their plows or beating their, their, their weapons into plowshares and pruning shears. Meaning that everything that they had for destruction now is turned around for construction because of me being here. Anyone that even come up with an idea that they're going to destroy beyond the time where they were given the right to destroy comes up face to face with me. And they're not going to win. Yes, sir. I'm telling you now, what's taking place across this country is being done very mildly so that you can see, black man, so you can see. White folks don't have to see. They already know. And what they're doing, I can't submit to this. Just the idea of some black man, I'm, oh, hell no. I'm not doing this. So I'm putting in motion right now 
to go to war against them and their theology. They're what they call religion. I'm going to war against it. And I'll do it in such a manner to show that what they are worshiping and whatnot has no power when I come against it. But he knows the real power is here. So he leaves here and goes there. So everybody that's looking on said, man, this is a law thing and this is Islam. Man, that's, you know, they, they ain't helping them do nothing. So it makes you not come. When the real man is right here, you're looking at him. So he can't put the fires out. He can't stop the rain from falling. He can't stop the hail from coming. He can't stop the disease that's coming in his animals. He can't stop the madness that's coming in his children. He can't stop none of that. So he constantly puts all these things that he's developing on the TV screen to dazzle you. No longer is he putting gold before you so you can get gold chains. That's almost played out. Now he's putting before you the video games. And then he comes up with the real thing that you've been playing with. Now he comes up, you know, smart bombs. He said, oh man, this man is powerful. Oh, really? The powerful man don't make a bomb. Mm. Yes, sir. He deals from here. Yes, sir. He deals with the would-be bomb maker. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> So that's what's literally taking place. And I'm not concerned about anyone other than the ones that are with me. And that's because you do have a choice. And until I destroy negative altogether, then whatever you choose, be ready to pay the price or receive the reward for it. I'm not going to make you do nothing. The main thing is, you're not going to make me do anything that's wrong. Remember, I love truth. So much so that I try to find it in wrong. That's because I am the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth, the way and the light. I can say it for real. Jesus just knew up somebody that's like that was coming. That's why I said, I got to go away. If I don't go away, the comforter can't come. That's right. And ain't nobody comforting nobody in this day and time unless it's me. Yes, sir. And any other comfort you get is strictly momentarily, temporarily. You got it? Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm speaking as me because I'm me. And I'll be extremely happy when you do the same. I ain't asked nobody to worship me. That takes too much time, too long, and it's, and it's, it's cumbersome. Yes. Why are you trying to worship me? you falling over your own feet, hurting yourself. Yes, sir. Just do the math. Yes, then I'll be happy. Yes, Thank you, Father. Yes, sir. We are, everybody that we have confronted in Africa, whether they be the original man or the Caucasian, the Asians, all of them are excited when they hear what we're doing and why. And all of them always say, this is from God. Not some of them, all of them always say that. So they know. So the wealth that's there belongs as an inheritance to the knowledge. That's you. If we say, well, Father, that's not so. The wealth belonged to them. Well, if it did, how come they didn't use it? The wealth belongs to the knowledge. You're the one that's getting the knowledge because that's where I am. You're here and I'm here. You're styled as new people. New people. So now we got to take the wealth and place it with the knowledge and the knowledge with the wealth to make everything operate. Make everything run smooth. Make everything show that there is a supreme power aboard and it is working. It's not laid dormant, waiting no longer. The waiting period is up, over, through, done, gone, over. You understand what's being said? Yes, and if you all do not come to the temple, or if you don't get the tapes, if you don't do the proper study, this will determine how close and how much you will be permitted to have responsibility of. If we can't trust you with no more than five dollars, that's all you're going to get. If we can trust you with five billion, you most certainly going to get it. It depends on you. 
not me. The capability is there. That it? I certainly appreciate you all coming out. Make sure you listen to the first part and do not, I repeat, or I'll say it this way, remember, because it reads in the Quran, remembrance of Allah is better than prayer. So remember what was taught in the message. Let nothing or no one, that includes mother, that includes the king, no one, let nothing or no one rob you of your reward. Your reward, not mine. Yours. So if you get robbed, you let it happen. If you get a big reward, you earned it. You got it? Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Assalamu alaikum.